Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. Today I am playing on the Amiga 500, I am playing Shadow of the Beast 2, one of the most difficult games I have ever played in my life. Really difficult, never finished it. Right, we have a very very good intro which I'm going to leave to play. Evil. Very evil. Got bad news written all over it. Evil. Such a great intro. A new life broken, his sister, child stolen. He returns home to find his must venture against the dark forces he escaped before. This game is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But I've never ever completed it. I've finished Shadow of the Beast 1 and I've completed Shadow of the Beast 3. All those are on, are on my channel. And this is the only one I haven't finished. But hopefully I can do it today. It's a really, really good game. Really, really tough. It's one of the most difficult games I've ever played in my life. This was requested by quite a few of my subscribers. So I'm doing it for them and I'm also doing it for me because I want to finish the trilogy. Really, really want to finish it. But this is so difficult. But it's such a great game. They're all good. All the Shadow Beast games are great. Right. There is the title screen. Great music as well. Right. Beast 2. Great game, but extremely difficult. Right, let's go. Let's see if I can do it today. I hope so, because this is going to take some doing. Let's go. The Land of Kara Moon. Shadow Beast 2, the most difficult Amiga game that I have played in my life. One attempt, one life, no continues, no cheats. This game is super difficult. It's got so many puzzles, so many traps. And it's one of those games, if you make a mistake, you can't complete the game. The only way around it is killing yourself and starting again, because you only get one attempt. Your energy is that red potion, and your weapon is at the top left. Now your character can only hold a maximum of four items. And it's at this early stage of the game, try and save as much energy as possible. Right, watch out for the fish. Right, kill this gargoyle. We have to save this guy, otherwise we can't finish the game. Thank you my friend, but my companion has already been kidnapped and taken to Ishran. If you rescue him, I'm sure our master Baloom will reward you. Be warned though, the way is heavily protected and there are many traps. You better believe it. Right, we need to press A to ask him a question. Type in traps. I heard one of the guards mentioned something about an upper switch. Now later on in the game there is a section where there are two switches, an upper switch and a lower switch. One of them kills you and one of them doesn't. But you have to ask him because sometimes it's different. So very important that you ask him. But that is later on. Head this way and we need to kill this gargoyle before he cuts that rope. Now we need to kill this guy who's pushing a great big block. Now this is tough. You've got to get the timing Perfect. Is 
Second hits here will take away a lot of energy. Right, watch out for these falling blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there's going to be more of them, but they're going to be sliding down this hill. Now you need to shoot them, and you also need to kill another gargoyle who is holding the key. So kill him, he drops the key, go back and get it, but keep shooting those blocks. Right, now the last one is actually hanging from this crane. If you crouch here, you should avoid it. Okay, you need to go up this rope. Use the key we've just we just picked up, and then go back to your weapon. Now watch out for a falling block. Okay, two switches. That guy said the upper switch. So hit the upper switch, the lift comes down, and we are safe. If you get it wrong, the ground beneath you will open up, you'll fall into the acid, and you will die. Right, now watch out for bats. These bats respawn. They're a bit of a pain, but we need to go and find another key. That key is in one of these rooms, and it is found on one of the tables. Which is here. Let's get out of here. Now up here, there is a treasure chest. There are six chests. Each chest has six coins, so six times six equals 36. Now you need to pick up all of them to finish the game. Right, this is difficult. Select the key, go down here. We have a monster in a cage and a sleeping gargoyle. Jump to the cage door, open it with the key and get out of there. The monster will run out, scare the gargoyle off. If you make a mistake, the gargoyle will wake up, press that top switch, and you will be trapped, and you will die. So jump to it, and make sure you jump out of the way. Go back to your weapon, and we need to go back down here. We need to press that bottom switch. Now we need to work around that monster. Now this might take a few attempts, because that, that monster walks backwards and forwards. We need to go down there and press that switch. Go. go back in the lift and go down. Okay, head back and go back down the rope. Now inside that chest was also a potion. Now that can fill half of your energy and you can use it at any time. Right, we need to activate this crane. So we need to pick up this rock, lower it down, grab it, grab it, lift it, and go as far right with it as it will go. Drop it, and it will land on a spike and break into little pieces. Now this small rock, you need to push and place it on a seesaw. Climb up the rope and jump on it. The rock will go into the air and it will activate this lift. Right, now we have a boss. It's a dragon. Now, this is quite difficult. He fires fireballs which you can shoot and he also fires electricity which you can't. So at last we meet. When you see that flash, jump out the way. That's when the, the, the um, lightning is about to strike. Fireballs you can shoot. I find it's best if you let him come to you rather than you go to him. Wow, taking too many hits. I have to use my potion, I think. Go. Boom. Right. Shoot the bag. There is a prisoner in there. We're not killing him, we are protecting him.
Right, whisper the word eternity. Now that password is different each time. Now I don't know what happens if you input the wrong password, I've never tried it. I don't want to try it, because I want to finish it. But we have the password, it is eternity. Right, head back, the way we came. Right, the Amiga has these occasional pauses. We need to go down the rope and go left, where there are two bosses. Don't fall in the acid. Right, this is the first. Now you need to hit them so they fall into the acid. And as you can see, his weapon is very similar to mine. So that's the first. This one takes a bit longer. There's another potion. I'm taking too many hits here. He's getting there. It takes a bit of time, but he is getting there. There we go. Right, we need to go into this building. This building is called the Cover Moon Oasis. We need to pick up an item. We need to pick up a jug. Now inside that jug is some kind of alcoholic drink. So take it with you, go down here and go through the door. I've played this game so much over the last few days, I've literally just been playing it again and again and again. Each time I die, start again, die, start again, but each time I'm getting slightly further. But it's a slow process. But I've completed Shadow of the Beast 1 and I've completed Shadow of the Beast 3, but I've never completed Shadow of the Beast 2. But I really want to. I really want to finish the trilogy, and quite a few of my subscribers have been subscribing it. So I've got to do it. Right. Go right. Go down here, but watch out for the slime. Okay, whisper the password. It is eternity. You may proceed. Thank you indeed. We shall. Right, this area does not have any baddies. In fact, it is rewarding you. We have another chest and more coins. Now, I've got too many items. I'm going to use a potion. Go up the rope and we speak to Baloom. Ah, I've been expecting you. Thank you for rescuing two of my best guards from Isran. I have heard of your quest to rescue your sister. Take this parchment to the old man. He can use his ring of power to create a spell that will be effective against Zelek. Right, so pick up the scroll. That's all we need from here. Go down and we exit. Okay, now we have to head back up. So again, watch out for the slime. Oh, that went well. Right, go back up the rope, and we need to go back to the start. Now, as you progress up, you'll notice that some of the enemy have, have disappeared. Including the fish, which is great. Unfortunately, the bombs at the start of the game are still there. Personally, I'd prefer it to be the other way round, for the fish to be there and the bombs to be gone, because the bombs, are f I find, are a bit more tricky and they take more energy than the fish. But there we go. Right. The Amiga's loading, it hasn't crashed. Right. So we are here again. Take your time, don't rush it, there is no time limit to this game. Save the energy. Bombs everywhere. 
Great stuff, I'll take that. Right, we are now officially back at the start. Halt, stranger! No one passes through our wood, but I have to, they're not gonna like me. Right, these guys have spears. Some of them throw them, and some of them don't. But these guys hide in the trees. Now, hitting them twice should finish them off. I can see you hiding in that tree. Some of them fly as well. Right, these ones throw spears. One. Right. Jump, shoot. Jump, shoot. Jump, shoot. Right, this is the last one. There we go. Right, we have another boss. Now this one is quite tricky, because you have these sort of slime balls bouncing around. You can shoot them, or kill them, but they are a bit of a nuisance. And that's the guy responsible for it. We must kill him. There we go. When he dies, he drops a weapon. Some small axes. Pick them up. But don't use them, they are timed. The scroll, leave behind, we don't need it yet. But over here there is another chest. And six more coins. Press S on the keyboard and we have 24. There is another chest at the top. But I'm going to come back for that one later. But leave the scroll here. Right, this next area is difficult. So stand here and jump and you should go through it. There we go. Insert disc one. I am old school, I am using discs, I am not using a GoTech. It's going well, but this level is difficult. <sighs> Very tough indeed, but let's go. Okay, the Crystal Caverns. This is a difficult area. We get these drips falling from the ceiling and crystal spikes come through the, the water. Now you can shoot them, but you have to shoot them in the air. But watch out for those drips. That's the first one. This one's more difficult. Excellent. Right. Excellent. Right, there's a potion there, and as you can see, we've maxed out again. So I'm going to leave the potion there and get it on the way out. Okay, we have another chest and six more coins. 30 now. Right, this next area is where we use these axes, but don't use it yet, but get it ready. Okay. Intruder! Right, you kill the guy operating the drawbridge. If you don't kill him, that drawbridge will open and you will, you will be trapped. Kill this last goblin, and now we break this wall! You've penetrated the goblins out of defences! Excellent. Right. Head up here. Now on this far left, there is a section where there are spikes. Now if you get hit by the spikes, you will be killed. However, there is a a lever up there, but when you hit it, that starts a countdown. That will deactivate the switches for a short period of time. So you need to head left, hit a switch, and get back before the time runs out. 
The switch triggers a distant ticking sound. Be quick. Hit the switch and go back. When you hear that dong, we're safe. Provided we're out of this area. There we go. Excellent. Right. Go down here and we are slightly outnumbered, but we need to pick up a key. Kill him as quickly as possible, grab the key, and avoid him if you can. We're trapped. Don't let him escape! Guards, take him away! Watch him closely. Right, we're in a prison cell, but as you can see, we're not alone. Make sure he survives. And whatever you do, do not hit that door. Right, select the alcoholic drink we picked up earlier and offer it to the guard. So press O. Don't mind if I do. He drinks it, now he's out of it. So now we can break this door, but once you've broken through the door, Make sure you climb up quickly and kill a guard. If you don't kill him quickly, he will kill the prisoner and you have to keep him alive. Right, so then we go back down here and we kill this guy. Because he has the second key. Now we rescue the second prisoner and if you don't rescue them, you can't finish the game. So select key two, let him out. Thank you, you are welcome. Right, now we have to go and find that ring. There we go, we have the ring. Okay. Now we have the key, but make sure these guys go first. There they go. And there's those spikes. Bad for them, fantastic for me. Right, now we have to head back. And I left a potion behind, so we should be okay. But we still have those drips to contend with. Excellent, we're out. Brilliant stuff. Woohoo! Insert this too. This is going superbly well. I think this is probably the best go I've had so far. But I have been playing this game a lot over the last few days. Wowzers. Right, we're so close. Let's go. Okay, we're out. This is the best guy I've ever had. We still got, I've still got two potions. Right, we need to go and collect that scroll. Hello, cat. Right. Now I'm going to use one of my potions because I'm, otherwise I'm going to have too many items. So pick up the scroll and up here. There is the final chest with the final six coins. Bingo. And another potion. And again, I've maxed out. So, I'll use another one. So my health is full. So press S. And as you can see, we have 36. Which is brilliant. We have all of the coins. Okay, we now need to go down this rope. Do not fall in the water. Right, we have a boss. Right, jump over this first rock. And whatever you do, don't fall in the water. Right, we've got more of these bats. Just run past them. Wowzers, it's going superbly well. Brilliant stuff. 
Right, we have another boss. Now this one we have to deal with a slightly different way. You have to get him to follow you. Follow. There we go. He falls through the bridge. Brilliant. Right, now we have to go and speak to the old man. The old man seems to gaze straight through you. Right. Give him the parchment. Press O. I have no use for the parchment without my ring. We have that as well. Okay, offer him the ring. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you so much. You are welcome. Right, now give him the parchment. Ah, I will use my ring to create this spell. It will des destroy Zelik. I like the sound of that. Right, pick it up. We have another weapon. Same range, but a lot stronger. This will hopefully destroy Zelik. If I get that far, I hope I do. Right, now we need to jump through the, the hole in the bridge and we go into this whirlpool. Oh my god, so close. Really close now. Different area. Right, so you're gonna get lots of these bats. Now these are these are a bit of a pain. We have another potion, which I'm going to have to use straight away because I haven't got enough items. I've got too many items. Right, pick up the horn. That was not good. That was not good. Anyway, we're through. What are you looking at? Never seen a snail before? Not one of your size. Right, we need to ask him a question. Type in Caramoon. Oh, hang on. Make sure you spell it right. Ah, you're a million miles away from Caramoon. You don't want to go back, do you? Yes, I do. You're joking. Okay, I'm talking hard cash. It will cost you 36 gold pieces, yes or no? Of course, yes. You're actually paid to visit Color Moon. Okay, well stand still and shut your eyes. This may feel a little weird. I'll be feeling weird if I drink too much wine. My word. Right, we now go back to where we were, but we have the horn. Please, can I do this? Please! I've played this so much over the last few days. So much. It's the only Shadow of the Beast game I haven't finished. Right, so we have two bosses. Now I've learned from experience. Make sure you have the correct weapon. Right. Okay. This is difficult. Brilliant. Right. This is the best guy I've ever had. This is, I've got here before, but I've never had this amount of energy. Right. Drop down into the swamp. Now we get a lot of these, whatever they are, jumping at you. There's a lot of them, but this weapon is good. Right, now we have a worm. Just run past him. <laughs> Excellent. Right, this is where we use the horn. There we go. Get on the back of the dragon. Brilliant, we are nearly there. Oh my word. 
We are so close. <sighs> Can I do this? Please let me do this. This is the final area. This is the final boss. We go into the castle. This is where we face Zelek. And up here, there is a potion. Surely this is the moment I've been waiting for. This has got to be it. I've got another potion. I think I'm going to use it now just to be sure. There we go. We've got full health. Full health for the final boss. Good luck, Jamie. Hands are shaking. I've done it! Yes! Excellent! I've finished it! Yes! Yes! Brilliant! I've done it! Woohoo! I've completed Share of the Beast 2. Congratulations, your sister is safe, and with Zelix's slain life in Karamoon can return to normal, but where is Maltooth? I've done it at last! Woohoo! Blimey! That was the most difficult game I have ever played in my life. Certainly on the Amiga. And I have done it! Woohoo! My word, it is 20 past 1 in the morning and I don't care. I have finished Shadow of the Beast 2. There we go! My word, I have finally completed the Shadow of the Beast trilogy. Oh my word! And like Shadow of the Beast 1, that is all you get. You don't get any movie. That is it. My god, I am so relieved. You have no idea. I've played this so many times over the last few days. Unbelievable amount of times. But my gosh. I have done it. I cannot wait to tell my friends that have been requesting this game. Oh my word. Wowzers. My word. That is... Completing Shadow of the Beast 3 was fantastic. Completing Shadow of the Beast 1 was out of this world, but this has beaten both of them. No question. Because this has always been my most difficult game, and I've done it. Guys! Wowzers! Wowzers, wowzers, brilliant. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I am so pleased, relieved. I cannot, cannot wait to upload this video. Please like, please comment, please share. Please suggest any games you want me to play, and I will do it. But, pff, blimey. Really, really pleased. Thank you. This is Jamie from Morgan's Just Games. I do streams every Friday night, UK time at 9 o'clock. I have a Facebook fan page, I'm also on Instagram, so just type in Morgan Just Games and you should find it fairly easily. My god, I am so pleased. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Please, please do subscribe and I've got so many more requests to do, but this one is such a pleasing moment to do because I've been wanting to do this one for so long, years, absolutely ages, but I've done it. Wowzers. Cheers, guys. I've done it. Woohoo! Ciao guys! I'll see you next time! Ciao! Bye!